have a major, major crisis on our hand. You will not believe this. I'm gonna turn it around. It actually does, watch. This. No, no, uh, you guys. Mom, come here. I cannot, no, I cannot believe hey, this. Hey, they can't see the camera from that far. Get over here, Mom. Today I'm hoping to be able to actually hop on both of them. Um, Eho hasn't wanted to quit bucking. He, anytime he spooks, he throws a bucking fit and he's been a tough one to get out of that. But hopefully today after some, some work, he'll be able to be through that. Um, I'm hoping that I'll know he's through it when I saddle him up and he doesn't go to bucking right off the bat. We're gonna go ahead and I'll start with Eho. Actually, I'm gonna start with Peaches, you know? I'm gonna get her saddled up. Uh, I'll take them both to a round pin. It's just a nice controlled environment um, to saddle up horses. We'll get them both saddled, starting with Peaches. And then I think I'm gonna just do a little bit of round pin work with her. Then I'll actually move her out of the round pin and take Eho in. I'll be able to alternate which one I work with. I'll switch on and off, give them breaks, whatever. Um, just whatever I feel like they need. Training horses, I'm excited to be working with two at the same time, same age, um, about the same age, I guess. One's a gilding, one's a mare, and I'm pretty excited to be working with both of them because I am kind of curious just the way they react. Each horse reacts differently, and so it'll be fun to see just, just which one reacts what way, and we'll see how it goes. Follow along as I go ahead and move them over there, and we'll get started. I've got everything ready to start working with these two colts, Peaches and Eho. I've got my rawhide saddle here. I sure do love this saddle. Um, so well built. It was actually on rawhide the other day when he was chased around by the stud. You can actually see it ticks me off, but the stud bit right here. See some teeth marks and a teeth mark and a tooth mark in there. Anyways, it's. It's a very well built saddle. Um, I love my saddle, my brand of saddles. And I know that you guys will love them too. I think you guys all ought, ought to get out there and buy some of them. I've also got my Snowflake Cattle Company saddle that I actually traded a long time ago for a bunch of rabbits. Um, that was my first owned saddle. Um, now I've got my own brand that I, I definitely favor this saddle over any other saddle now. It's very well built, super comfortable. I love it. Um, rides super well and fits my horse as well as on top of it. So anyways, I've got everything ready. I got two saddle um, pads, a couple of um, native rugs that we can throw on underneath there just to add a little bit of extra cushion, a roping rope, um, a whip, not to whip the horses, but to move them around the pin. And then an extra halter here. Um, the one on Peaches just isn't, the lead rope on it is pretty stiff, so I kind of wanted to throw a different one on her when I actually uh, saddle her up. Peaches is in the round pin now. I just looped that halter around her neck, or that lead rope around her neck, and just let her wander around while I took care of Eho. Some may disagree with me having the horse right here next to the round pin, but I think it'll be great for Eho to have movement running right in front of his face. Um, a lot of times when you're on a horse, there's going to be other people on horses running right in front of you or um, tarps or whatever, just things moving all around you. So I think it's important to put them in situations like that before you ever get on them. Peaches really is kind of a sweetheart. She will follow you around just like this through the pasture or wherever a lot of times. So we're going to go ahead and throw, go ahead and throw my rawhide saddle on her. I'm not too worried about her bucking. Um, like I said, I, I haven't worked with her much. She has been ridden before, but when we got her, it was the middle of all my sports seasons and I haven't been able to mess with her yet. So we're gonna go ahead and get working on her. By the end of the summer, hopefully she's doing great as well as Eho. Well guys, I got my mom down here to help video. She's behind the camera right now. Dad just headed out. He just pulled out of town. He's headed off to Texas for 
a couple of days. And so I'm hoping by the time he gets back, I'm challenging myself. I already told him, I said, hopefully when you get back, we'll have both of these riding outside the round pen and doing well. So uh, no promises guaranteed. Some horses just aren't ready and you don't want to rush them. But we're going to go ahead and keep working with them. My mom's going to video some of the round pen work with Peaches. I've already been going for about 10 minutes, but I haven't videoed anything just because it's been in my pocket and it's hard to video inside of your pocket. I've already gotten all the, not all the round pen work done, but I've done a lot of round pen work just getting her running in circles, um, calming her down, warming her up. Um, so I think she's about ready to throw a saddle on and then we'll go ahead and repeat the process. She has had some round pen work done before. So it wasn't her first time in the round pen, but she's done good. Now we'll go ahead and get a halter or a saddle pad and desensitize her to that for a little bit. We'll work our way up to a saddle and then we'll go ahead and move around the round pen. Good to let the horses know what's coming. Let them see what's in, about to be thrown on their back. Well, Peaches did go to bucking, um, and as she did, it actually adjusted this under native rug. You can see it's kind of hanging crooked. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and unsaddle her, not completely, hopefully I'm gonna see if I can slide it out from underneath her. She did very well getting saddled. When we sent her out, she just not having it. She wanted to get that saddle off her back. She sure tried. a major major crisis on our hand you will not believe this i'm going to turn it around it actually does watch this. no no uh, you guys Mom, come here. i cannot no i cannot believe hey, this hey they can't see the camera from that far get over here mom watch you, you oh, will wait. not believe listen listen the bull snakes they sit here and rattle their little tails and are you bushes. sure it's a bull snake yeah. listen oh my gosh Oh my gosh, we have a snake in our wreath on our front porch. Yeah. That is crazy. Oh, you hear that? Oh, it stopped. 
Okay, you take the camera and get closer, but I'm not going any closer. Ah! Ah! Oh, wait. I should have a camera going on my mom right now. <laughs> that is crazy. You hear it? That's freaking sweet. <laughs> well, today's been a busy day. The horse is bucked around. Got another colt. Me and Jared are gonna go work with guys. By the way, this is Jared right here. He's here to help me with a colt this afternoon. We're gonna go ahead and go out there and work with it. But we're gonna let my mom take care of this snake. <laughs> no, Why not? no, I'm not taking care of the snake. Come here. I'm gonna go take that steak a long ways away. <laughs> I cannot believe that. I'm never gonna open my front door again. Listen, listen. Where's its tail? How do you know it's not a rattlesnake? Because it doesn't have a gadolin on there. Yeah, this thing's a big old snake. <gasps> I see a Ted! Yeah, a Ted's been right there. Oh my gosh. I, I hate snakes. Did you guys know that? I hate snakes. Come here, Mom. No. I'll bet you five bucks you won't pet it. I bet you a hundred bucks I won't. I bet you a thousand bucks I won't pet it. I cannot believe that. All right, let's catch this thing. Your mommy and video is catching it. It's still going, actually. Okay. Hello. Take it way outside. Look at it from ah. the back. Oh my heck. That's crazy. Ah! Ah! Like, go, please. Seriously. That's a huge snake. Oh my gosh. That crawled up our front door? Oh my god, tall it is. It could have grabbed the handle or gone up those boots, then the handle in there. Probably went up the chair. Oh, it's coming to you, Mom. <gasps> Shush. You're ornery. Everybody's seen how ornery you are to me. <laughs> Golly. He's a huge snake. Take him far away. Hey. Bailey, ah. you're <laughs> He's gonna get bit. He's a nice one, Mom. If I hold his head, will he touch his body? No, I won't. Mom, why not? Not even if this video went he viral would I touch the body of the snake. He's all cool. Come on, come on. Nope. Maybe a title of this video, Lady Scared to Death by a Snake. <laughs> I am scared to death by a snake. <laughs> Look, Mom, this is a gentle guy. No, 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 stay, stay away. I'm yeah. serious, no. If no, get, Blake, Blake, please, please. If I get him by the door. No. You'll have to go back in. I'll go through the back door. <laughs> that is impressive that he got up that thing. Did you imagine if we had a ring doorbell? <laughs> we could have watched it do the whole thing. <laughs> so, Jared, you want another pet snake? No. <laughs> Jared has a pet snake right now. Dang, I killed a mouse today, too. Could have fed this guy. I gotta go call Dad and tell him. You guys go clear over there and let me in the front door. Yeah, sure. Blake, please. I'm going. <sighs> you guys go work with horses and get rid of the snake somewhere. Where are you gonna let it go? Not by the house. I know. I'm gonna find some gopher holes somewhere. Let's go. Okay, see you guys. <clears throat> All right, so I've already worked with Peaches, the turning three-year-old uh, mare. Um, she's bred to 66 right now. And now I'm working with Eho, um, the two-year-old gilding out of our old stud, Mister. I'm gonna go ahead and start him off by working in the round pen for a little while. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, put the saddle on just like we did with Peaches and do the same process over again, see how well he does. Hopefully he won't buck. This guy has had a problem with bucking. Um, he's bucked so far every time I've saddled him. Hopefully we'll get him out of that and just repetition and keep on working with him on the ground without a saddle and with the saddle on.
550. 550. Well, let's head out. I'll ride it. It really is to the point where I would hop on. But I feel like if I hop on, I might spend another 45 minutes down here messing with it. And I got to get to the weight room for a little while. So um, we'll call it good for today. Eho really has done amazing. I'm impressed with how much further he's come today. He did start off bucking again, um, but that's all right. We worked him out of it and uh, we'll continue to just keep working until that's not a habit of his. So um, follow along as we continue Eho's journey and Peach's journey. And until then, like and subscribe to the channel, like this video and have a good day.